Good morning everyone. Hi, how are you? Um, welcome and come on in, say hi if you're watching live. If you're watching the replay, please comment replay for me. My name is Kim Mayer. Um, my, this is my second video on this page. Um, and I am going to show you a few things today. Um, on, I'm going to teach you how to contour your face. Now, the reason for doing a contour is um, if you usually wear foundation, um, a lot of the, like you do a, a full sort of coverage that you actually lose the dimensions of your face. So um, you, your cheekbones will kind of disappear and you end up being sort of just one big, one color. So the idea of contouring is to just create those, um, the definition in your cheeks, um, but it's also to create um, a new like shape. So if you want to hide something, then you can contour it to then make it look a little bit different. So um, uh, what I'm going to show you, I'll get my brushes together, <laughs> is how you can contour it. Now, if you've never done it before, the first kind of contour that you might want to try is contouring your cheekbones. So you can see now I've got, I've done my full face of makeup, except I haven't done any contour or any blush yet. So you can see that um, I don't really have too much of a definition in my cheekbones anymore because I've taken that away by throwing one plain color over the whole lot. So I'm going to do that. Another way you might want to um, change something up is like I have a big forehead. So <laughs> I'll add a little bit of contour up here that'll then shrink it down. If you have like a few chins like me, you might want to like chisel it out just a little bit. Um, you can do so many things with it as well. So um, we, I do use um, Senegens products, but you can use um, whatever you have. So uh, sometimes you can use um, a foundation shade, maybe like three or four shades darker, and then that could actually work as a contour for you. Um, you can use powders. Um, I'm sure you could use some eyeshadows as well. Um, but what I'm going to show you is we, we have uh, blush that you can use, um, we have eyeshadows that you can use, um, and one of my favorite ones is the Color Corrected Tinted Moisturizer. This is the shade Deep, which is actually for um, a tinted moisturizer for a full face when you're a darker skin tone. Um, but because it's a moisturizer, it actually blends out really, really easily. So this is my choice for that reason. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you how to how to find your cheekbone as well. So from the top edge of your, the top of your ear, going down to the edge of your mouth, if you drew a line going across like that, just like that, then you'll find your cheekbone and you'll be able to feel it if you can't, um, if you can't feel it already, but you'll be able to find it and feel it. So then you just want to roll that slight bit underneath and that's where you're going to do your contour. So you're going to start back a little bit at the ear and then you're going to come forward but the rule is just when you look forward stop at the edge of your eye don't go any further towards your lip from that edge so I'm just going to grab a palette I'm going to squeeze a little bit of my tinted moisturizer out on that and then I'm going to grab a brush and I'm just going to pat into it now that one of the reasons I love using this product as well is because it is a cream product so if you make any mistakes then you can easily go back over with your foundation brush and just tap it out so all right so I'm just going to go from that edge underneath my cheekbone and I'm going to pat it down first so it might look a little bit full on but you can buff it out so when you do buff it out you're gonna go and don't bring it down because if you bring it down you're actually gonna draw your face down as well um, so you want to do that that line and then you're gonna bring it up a little bit but you're not gonna go past the peak of your cheekbone so um, just buff that out a little bit so if you feel like it's a little bit too full-on then you can go back, as I said, to your foundation brush and just tap over that edge and it softens it a whole heap. But you can see, I haven't gone past that edge there, but you can see how much definition it's added from that side to that side. I hope the lighting's all right. But, um, so that's how you can get a little bit of a contour happening on your, on your cheekbone. So I'll do the other side quickly. 
Um, and this doesn't take long in the morning if you've, um, if you get, once you get used to it, it doesn't take long. Um, contour also goes on top of your foundation, um, not underneath. So, but then you can, as I said, go back over with your foundation brush if you need to fix up anything. So, patting it out a little bit. Back up here. And just brush it over. And then go back to your foundation brush. Fix up any area. If you want to sort of soften a little bit. But I've gotten that definition back. So, so when this is how you do contour, and then when you do your blush, you're going to throw it in the apples of your cheeks, like right about there. So, um, I'm going to grab a little bit more, and then because I said before, I have a ginormous forehead, <laughs> so I'm going to tap it around the edges of my forehead. As I said, it does blend out really, really easily. But yeah, you can use, um, some people like to use powder products. The reason I prefer these cream ones is because you can go back over with your foundation and you can fix it up. Um, so if you make any mistakes, whereas like a powder product um, can fall off um, throughout the day as well. Um, but it also, um, if it sticks to your foundation, then it's going to get stuck there and you're, you know, stuck if you've made any mistakes. So I'm just going to go from underneath my ear. This is how you do your jawline. So you're going to follow your jawline just like that. And you can see I've gone pretty dark over this side. But you're going to blend out just underneath your ear. Um, because what that does is it casts a shadow just underneath your ear that makes your jawline stand out a lot more. So um, if you need to get a bit more of a jaw like I do... <laughs> All right, a little bit more. Once you get used to it and I'm not teaching, it does actually take two seconds to do in the morning. So, if you can see, sorry, my mirror's over that side. So tap that out and then you double chins. So, <laughs> um, only do the littlest bit and really, really lightly. So usually I just go with like a little bit of my, whatever's left over on my brush because you don't want to end up like doing this sometime in the day and then looking like you've got a bit of a beard happening. So it's just that slight bit of a shadow that you want to add and it just slims out your face a little bit. So another thing you can do too, if you have um, a wider nose that you're not happy with, that you want to slim out a little bit, is just to go down, you squish your brush, or you can use a smaller one as well, and squish your brush and just go down. Can you see how I'm kind of creating that line? Just next to my nose. So, and then the other side. I'm sorry if my lighting's like playing up. A bit sunny out today so um so there you go so i've made that skinny down and then if you if your nose is a little bit longer as well and you want to shorten it then you would go in underneath so there is another trick too if you want to make your um your lips look bigger <laughs> is you could do the tiniest bit just underneath the bottom lip and it'll actually cast a shadow and then make your lips look bigger. Um, I don't really do that one, but, um, you know, it's an, it's an option. If I want to make my lips look bigger, I'll try to, I'll do an ombre look, look. So darker on the outside and lighter in the inside and always like a shimmer or a gloss, which will always make it look bigger. Um, and a lighter lip color will always make your lips look bigger as well. So there you go. There you have it. A little bit of contour, um, you know, and then so then I would go on to blush after that. Um, just in here, add a little bit of color and there we have it. So um, I hope you've learned a little bit about contouring. It's not for everybody, so it's not a must have a thing to do. Um, I definitely like to do it a little bit more dramatic if I'm going to do a more dramatic eye look or, um, but during the day I might be a little bit more subtle than this. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in finding out and seeing how I did my eyes, I did do them on my business page this morning. So go check that out, which is Lip Sass at Beauty Heartland. I've tagged it in this video. So thanks guys. I'll see you next week with something new. Thanks for watching. Bye.